the art world for years has been a space for the elite few with the understanding and the know-how, maybe even the money, to be able to participate in it. Nowadays, everyone can participate in the art world without purchasing their own pieces of artwork in particularly every shop around. Think of someone like Banksy. With, we are penetrated by the, his brand everywhere. You can't go into any tacky tourist shop or even high-end store without seeing a mug or a t-shirt without his work printed all over it. We are now able to buy into his brand. We like, uh, like we would with our favourite clothes designers or food label. This makes me wonder why the art world feels like a place for the elite. Even when artists have been able to provide us with the work at every angle, on a level that even the least art interested people can engage with. Maybe it's just a lack of interest into going to galleries and seeing such work. Jean van Heswick describes that nowadays we are we, one could conceive an aesthetic experience on every corner. It's true, we are constantly being bombarded with the image of the spectacle. It's everywhere. Why would you bother going out looking up your way when you could see it on every corner? Like, why would you fucking do that shit? So, if we were already participating in making art without realising it, why would you make a piece of work that requires involvement of people already? But there is a number of community-based artworks that Claire Bishop talks about in Artificial Hells. One that I'm in, most interested in is the Turkish art collective Oda Projective. Oda Projective of the Lola. They created a series of projects involved in their neighbours, which included children's painting workshops, picnics and a parade. How exciting. Their aim was to produce a more creative and participatory social fabric. Mm. The problem I have with these community projects is such as this, is where does it become art and not just a project aiming to he like heal social problems? <coughs> it's almost like art has become a political tool to tackle issues the government would want to sort out. So apparently everyone is creative and by doing art all the world's problems can be solved. Not. Another example I've looked into is Project Row Houses, created by Rick Lowe, babe, in the 1990s. This project is situated in the row of properties previously used by drug addicts and for prostitution. This programme has led to around 40 houses being refurbished into like places where people can work. Why would I worry about this shit? The project that may not actually have dealt with the social issues and literally just force people to go away, like, yeah, shit. Um, but, however, like, social healing is a very good issue that we need to sort out. And it seems that the art world has been able to provide this. People who use the initial issues are going on to have end up somewhere. <clears throat> what I also begin to worry about is where did these projects actually become art and not just social publics, like, projects, like, the fucking, like, I don't know, brownies and women's institute, like, why would you do that shit? When I've, like, experimented with this in my own work, like, I have did a tea party and what I was worrying about is what is actually art and what is not art and where are people going to be interested in this whole shit. Um, it doesn't have to consist of me making something that can be an event where the idea is togetherness and participation is the focal point. Like, you don't need to, you just need to be there. What's the claw? Um, I realised that the projects such as the one set up by Oda Producer can be difficult to critically assess as art, but in their own right provide gestures that people would pro provide memories for people and to take away as them to provide social effect, a positive social effect. And surely that, at the end of the day, that's what art's all about. Um, socially driven artwork. What makes socially driven artwork successful? 
Claire Bishop, Claire Bishop discusses the main way projects have been crit critiqued in the past as on ethics, like why would you, you know, um, without really going into the details, I don't want to talk about that shit, but, you know, um, basically you can't really judge someone's work based on ethics, because what about everyone else? They're, they're clearly an issue. Um, at the end of the day, successfulness should be judged on whether people enjoyed the work or people actually had a positive feedback from it. Um, whereas on the other hand, like maybe, obviously there's clearly works that don't do this. Um, the Santiago Segueras piece, line tattooed on four people, a bit of a stir, basically. Um, why would you do that? Um, <laughs> uh, well basically he drew a line on people with tattoo and in the exchange for heroin. That's really clearly not a good thing. And it's um, to do with uh, participatory events and why would you... Who gives the shit? Um, basically, I feel like many participatory events that have worse outcomes and good outcomes based upon what they've been doing, you know what I mean? Um, and and they're, it's basically ethical one-upmanship and like Claire Bishop wants to say like well basically if your work's shit no one's interested and otherwise meh. Um, well maybe people want to um, say what their opinion is on it and it's a, a broad range of people who are going on opinion whether they enjoy themselves or not and ethically sound that's a, that's a good thing there and if they felt the piece was meh I'm going to come to a conclusion now and then basically if an art's going to be successful they need to access everyone um, you're going to speak to people and they'll be like oh, I don't give a shit and you're going to go to a gallery and be like oh well that's great maybe they won't even go to the gallery and they might have even been part of the work so that's a bit of an issue, isn't it, really? Um, well, you should probably deal with that shit. Um, Claire Bishop describes this as losing audiences. Clearly she's in the know. Um, so I feel that's less successful if you're going to lose an audience purely because you haven't really acknowledged them. So if you're, if you're not going to do something like people are going to be interested in, like, you don't want to put it on television, nobody's going to be interested or if you're going to put it in a magazine there's going to be people that are interested but still I feel like people aren't going to be interested you just need to acknowledge everyone basically shit hums um, well if you if you do a piece of work that's successful I say you should print it all over the tube maps or print it all over a bag and be like oh yeah I've got this fucking mug that's like I've got this piece of shit artwork on it as the marvel um, whereas everyone else would be like, oh no, that's, I haven't got that. So basically, at the end of the day, you've got to involve everyone in your piece of work, otherwise it's like a piece of shit.